I want to do some quick hitters um, on March Madness. I also want to outline your success in college basketball this this year. And historically, for anybody who's wondering, 956 wins, 760 losses. That's plus 221 units with an 8% ROI. So if you're going to tell anybody in March, Parley Safari is a pretty good guy to tell. Let's dive in. Any overrated teams that you think are getting a lot of buzz going into the tournament that you're worried about in early bounce? Yeah, um, looking at these kind of top teams, teams that I really just have no interest in even backing them in, in my bracket, past the round of like 32, even even at the worst 16, Purdue. 11-1 to right now. It's really been simple. They have killed teams early on in the season, and it was like, how do you stop these guys? And all of a sudden, they start losing game. Close game, losing game. What are these teams doing? They're face guarding these guards, and they're forcing the ball in, into Edie, kind of outside of the paint. He can't, he's not very mobile. He's a gigantic creature. He's huge. He can't make that move inside and score at a high clip if, the, if he's not getting the ball right in the paint. Yeah. Um, they, they've struggled recently. 11 to 1 is way too low. I'm good. Um, people see his numbers this year. I believe he's at 22 points a game. He's had a great year. Um, I'm not buying it. I'm off Purdue. I think they're overrated. Love that. It helps when you're literally seven foot three or whatever ED is. So no you wonder can, he, he's, he's like toss it. Yeah. And it, it'll probably go in 22, but these teams that are pushing him out of the paint, it's a great point. He's not athletic enough. How about right. Cinderella stories? Um, anybody that you see making a little run here, that's kind of considered a sleeper. Yeah. So I'll give you guys, I'll give you guys two here. Um, one that is kind of realistic versus kind of a long shot. Um, Creighton, 35-1, to started the year off great, lose their center in Kalkbrenner. Uh, he's out for about three weeks, four weeks, and they kind of really start to tank down. He returns. Um, they look a little bit better, but not to the same pace as what they were before uh, preseason. Uh, you know, what happens? Um, I think they really kind of started to figure out him. Is he fully healthy? Probably not. Is he now? Definitely closer. Um, what can Creighton do? Shoot, you know, they, they have three guys over 36% from three. I'll buy that any day in March. If you can get hot in March and shoot like that, sign me up. 35 to 1. I love that. Creighton, Blue Jays, love it. And the other one, 300 to 1, the Charleston yeah. Cougars. Yes. <laughs> uh, their wins this year. Their wins this year. Richmond, Davidson, Virginia Tech, Kent State, and they hung with UNC. Um, this team has five guys all but with 10 plus points a game. Um, seven guys above 32% from three. Sign me up. This has 12 5 matchup, upset all over it. They beat a five seed. Then they get away a four seed, probably. I can see them going to the Sweet 16, and who knows, a Cinderella run could happen. The Cougars, 300 to 1, do not mind that at all. Okay, excuse me while I go place a little 35 to 1 on Creighton. <laughs> Sprinkle on the 300 to 1, Charleston. And then I also am thinking, based on that insight right there, maybe like a Charleston to reach the Sweet 16, maybe a little Elite elite 8, just, you know, as a hedge to this 300 to 1 bomb. Yeah. Drop it. it's, it'll be a team that I will have in my bracket probably in the Sweet 16. Got, you, you have to pick these upsets, and this is a team that can make a run. I'm in. You sold me. Two more <laughs> questions. Quick hitters. Most memorable tournament moments. Anything come to mind? Yeah, off the top of my head, two come to mind immediately. Uh, three. The R.J. Hunter, Georgia State, step back three with his dad in the chair as he falls off, bangs a three to beat uh, number three Baylor, I, I think it was. That was just like a, a father-son thing. Everyone's watching that game, and Baylor goes down early. That was sick. Um, can't talk about the uh, Villanova final against UNC. Jenkins for three, game winner. That's with everyone. I mean, that is a all-time probably best final game ever. Um, and then Trey Burke, step back three against Kansas to really put them into overtime, and then they do win that game, and they go to the final against Louisville, which they did lost. But Trey Burke was a hooper in college. Love those. Last one. First player that comes to mind when you think of March. Oh. Trey Burke. That dude was a go. hooper at Michigan. I think that was the 2013 year Michigan. Um, they, I, they were down eight against Kansas with like a minute left. 
bangs a three, steal, layup. Uh, down by three with like eight seconds left, runs around the corner. He's about eight feet behind the three-point line, just throws it up right in. They, they go to OT. That kid was a hooper at, um, at Michigan. Trey Burke. I, as soon as we hop off, I'm going straight to YouTube and watching some Trey Burke highlights because yeah. uh, you have a steel trap of a memory that I do not. I do not remember <laughs> this crazy run from him, so I'm going to have to rejog my memory. But He was crazy. Crazy. Well, Parlay Safari, this was awesome. Thank you so much for taking some time. Really excited for listeners to get their hands on this. I know they're going to enjoy it. You are one of the good guys in the industry. We appreciate having you utilizing our software here at Dub Club. Everybody, don't be like me. Don't be a losing better. Get to the good side. Tell guys like Parlay Safari, and um, he will give you a form of passive income that you didn't think was possible. So, um, That's the goal. Man. Thank you very much for taking some time, and I'm excited for uh, everybody to take a listen. Thanks, brother. Dash was awesome, man. Thank you. Money, 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 money.